Welcome to the Daily Devo. My name is Diana, and today we are talking about El Shaddai. Have you ever heard the phrase self-sufficient? It's a phrase that's used in our culture to talk about somebody who doesn't need to depend on others for much. Well, today's name for God is used in multiple places in the Bible in a similar way. It's a name, this is interesting, it's a name that God himself uses about himself. The name today is El Shaddai. It means God Almighty, or some even describe it as God the All-Sufficient One, the needing nothing. So check this out. The first place that we see it is in Genesis 17, verse 1. It says this, it says, When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between you and you will be greatly increased in numbers. I want to take you over to Psalm 90 verse 2. I think this is going to help describe the meeting of God Almighty. Let's check it out together. It says, Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Here's what the psalmist is saying. He's saying from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Before anything, God, you were. Before the beginning of creation, you were. Long past the end of time, you will be. Wow, really think about that. God has been and always will be. He is not constantly changing. He is consistent. Hear that again. God is consistent. You can trust him. Think about this. If you were building something, you wouldn't want to build it on an ever-moving, unstable surface, would you? Well, the other week I was able to go to this outdoor event with a few families and they had young kids and their young kids were all jumping up and down on this unique plastic structure. It was great fun, kind of like a trampoline, but think about it. It would have been a horrible place to try to like stack a bunch of fragile plates or to try to start building something on top of it. Some things in life are more sturdy than others. The New Testament talks about this. And in Matthew 7, Jesus has this teaching. And, and here's what he says. He says this. He says, Therefore, everyone who hear the, hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. And then it says, but everyone who hear these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down and steam rose, the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell with a great crash. Check this out. Today's verse in the Psalms is reminding us that God always was. He always will be. He is God Almighty, self-sufficient, and he is something we can build our life on. We can follow him. He is a firm foundation like rocks. So when the storms of life come, we won't topple over and fall down. We will know with confidence we're standing on a God who is never changing. So take heart today. Whatever is changing around you, God is not. And take heart today that God is fully aware and the whole of scripture tells us that God is fully involved. And I want to leave you with one final reminder about God. Is it tells us that, that God, this almighty God, God El Shaddai, God who always has been and always will be, that he so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Because God, this almighty God, he did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So let's trust this unchanging character of God today. Be encouraged and we'll see you next time.